Hey buddy, yeah, you're welcome. That's, that's, that's stuck in the soft mud and... Mm. I wonder if I can get it over. I have pill hooks in the front. Okay, that's probably gonna be our best bet. Uh, I might still have to come forward a little bit because you'll probably still be hung up or I'm right here. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Put driver in neutral. Uh, we'll go neutral whenever we get this cable tight here. Yep. Yeah. it up a little bit yeah turn that way okay now go this way
sedan pulled in there and pulled right out and I figured it yeah. turned it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they put this heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Want one of those? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You so much. Mom and Mom's got one. Dad's got one. Dad might want one. No. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have a good one, okay? <laughs> Try to have a better time. <laughs> Tootsie Pops are a big hit. I, you know, I never knew that that those could be bigger than the tow trucks, but hey, I'm always a fan of food. Hey, it's candy, yeah, definitely. Candy trumps toys. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, got another one there. So, guys, this is just a super tight fit. Let me see if I can get the camera up here on the so they've got the, the llama wagon up here too. So they've got the llamas going up to Mount Leconte today, apparently. Yeah, it's always a tight fit to get a tow truck up here. Um, and we used to do a lot of winch outs and like this guy here, he's probably about to caught his bumper on this giant rock right here. Mm -hmm. He's got the suspension all twisted up. Barely get through here. And That's I can easy. barely make it, yes. You had to back through here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this fella needed, but he was trying to chase me down too. Hey buddy, so what you got going on? Uh, my wife had pulled over on the side and she kind of got herself stuck in like the mud. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any way you guys could just like yank it out into the road and get us Okay, going. is she just down here at the bottom of this hill? Down the bottom of the hill, it's a white VW Atlas. Okay, you okay. See it's kind of like that now. Okay. She tried getting in and out, I think she just made it worse. Okay, I'll meet you down there. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right guys, you can see uh, one trip into the park and you end up with multiple rescues because people pull off the side and and uh, they just don't realize that it's not it's not a thing to do hopefully I can make it through here I'm gonna rock over here yeah you've got plenty of room we'll have to see if we can let some traffic go because we already had the traffic yes. block doing that recovery so if we can get a little relief before we block the road down again would be pretty cool but they say they're down here at the bottom like I said, it happens a lot, guys. Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail is where we're at. Uh, if you're going to pull off and do a hike, be mindful of your car getting out because it's probably not going to happen, especially if we've had some weather and rains and things like that. Sometimes the edges are just rough. You see the recoveries that we do, and it's no different here on this Motor Nature Trail. If you get a little small car off, you're going to bottom out. There's a good spot to pull over and let some traffic through. And... Uh... I'm just glad we didn't have to bring the roll back this time. All right, stay tuned, guys. We're going to let some traffic roll. Thanks, y'all. Okay, got a big line of traffic ahead of us now. Hopefully, these folks are down here. And it won't be too bad. Maybe we can get them with the front winch. That would be great. Trying to maneuver the truck up here makes me really happy that I didn't get the extended cab four-door. Because yeah. sometimes I've got to turn around up here to do reverse pulls and... Oh, Georgia, that's a bad spot. They just now parked there. No, he's been parked there for a while. It's weird for I'll watch a rock up here. It's like if you've got this giant truck right here, one would think you'd find a better pull off for that. I think maybe there might be other giant well, trucks. Well, I mean, they put these there. rocks here for a reason. They put these yeah. rocks here so you cannot pull off and park. And people still pull off in front of the rocks and then there's not enough like I said if I had to get a rollback up here this is just not it's not happening so uh, if you if you need
need one of those, I, I feel very sorry for you because generally those recoveries come in and you have to come up here after midnight to do it because, or after dark anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get some more traffic. Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Enjoy a lollipop while you wait. Thank you. That's very kind you can have whatever color you want. Mom and Dad's also welcome to one if you want. No, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad here. Happens all the time, guys. Maybe the steer. Okay, yeah, I've got a bunch of pressure. Go hard right whenever you get in. Hard right? Yeah. Well, yeah, just for a second, and then we're gonna swing back the other way. Okay. Are you ready? Dragging me. Go. Are you at, you're in neutral? No, no. Oh, it's the parking brake. The parking brake off? Um, yes. Is the parking brake off? Yes. Okay. Okay, now cut back the other way. Right there. Stay there for a sec. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to steer into it. Go, go, uh, come back to me. Come back to me as hard as you can. I got a giant rock back here. Okay, go straight. Stump. Uh huh. There's a stump over here. You know that, right? Yeah, I know it's huge. No, 
I'll stay right there. Okay, hold your brakes for me. Okay, let off. Okay, let off, yep. Now go left, steer left. Okay, go straight and park. shop today thought I'd do a quick little um, package delivery so uh, sergeant Tom Bales has has graciously sent it looks like butters and Addy and friends all of our little doggies <laughs> Tom we appreciate that and I'm sure the doggies will appreciate that too but in today's mail we uh, we'll see what Tom has sent the the pups we appreciate you guys. You guys, uh, I guess you guys get to see the doggies on, on video and um, and like to send them stuff too. What do we got here? Oh, that's awesome, Tom. The doggies, we will share. They will love it. So Tom <laughs> sent uh, Addy Butters and uh, the two little pups, Bruno. Oh my gosh! <laughs> sent. Uh, I sent lots of dog treats. That's awesome. What do you think, pups? Addy, Tom sent you a treat. You want to see what Tom sent? Addy. Addy is so deaf. <laughs> hey, Addy. Butters, you want one? Come get a treat. Ooh, they're milk bones, Butters. Those are your favorite. Thank you, Tom. Butters likes them. We'll, we'll pitch Addy one. <laughs> He's like, I don't, know. I don't know. But we appreciate that, Tom, and so does Butters. Butters, wants another one. Butters you want more? Tom says you could have more. <laughs> Maybe one for later. <laughs> well, Butters likes those. Thank you, Tom. We'll get. Uh, uh, Addie's eating hers now. <laughs> Addie's, Addie's got some. <laughs> But that's awesome, guys. You guys are always sending us cool stuff. And uh, this is the first time that Butters has got some cool stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, we got that. So we appreciate you guys. We're going to give um, let's see Bruno and um, Bobby. Is it Bobby now? I think it's Bobby. I think, we, I think we've set it on Bobby. Bruno and Bobby. We're going to see if they get. We got some treats. Tom sends you a treat, Bobby. Thank you, Tom. Bobby, you done had your treat. Sergeant Tom gave you yours already. Here's bonuses. There you go, bonus. He's 
you've taken it away. Is it yummy? Anyway, Tom, uh, it's, it's a big hit. They love them. Uh, they've already got uh, quite a few of those gone. There may be a little a dessert before before dinner. But uh, again, Tom, that's amazing. Tom, uh, greetings from Everything Auto. I just want to read through this. He says, I'm a huge fan. I watch the show every night, watch every video. Um, he says he sees where the fans sends us gifts. Uh, he's going to change things up a little bit, he says. I am... Uh, he, uh, I'm sending Butters and her companion a gift. He's a car lover and a fanatic. Um, he says he's more of an animal lover, so so here are his some treats for the loving fur babies, and they, he hopes they, that they enjoy them. Uh, this is uh, warmest regards from Sergeant Tom. Sergeant Tom, you're an amazing an amazing man, and uh, you've made some fur babies very happy tonight. He says uh, Butters is his favorite star of the show. Uh, you gotta love the wonderful animals. And uh, what a friend she is, and she is. She has been a, uh, she's been a big friend to the family. So is Addie. They're both super old. What are they? At Butters is 13. eleven. She's eleven, and she's thirteen. Eleven and thirteen. Addie will so be fourteen Addie's in November. Fourteen in November. So they're really old. Addie's, yeah, she can't hear a thing. Butters is, uh, she's ready to go now. She's got a full stomach <laughs> and uh, ready to run the mountainside over here. But Sergeant Tom. You are the man. You've made us. Uh, you've made us smile again tonight. So um, we appreciate that, and uh, we'll send the other fur babies some treats here later. But thanks again, Tom. Guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. You never know where you're going to find yourself on a service call. Today's service call was a lockout on a on a ram, and um, golly, we come down this crazy gravel road, and uh, we're up here. It's Raven's Den. Uh, up off of Wares Valley. Uh, a little tough to find this one, but I thought I'd share with you guys. I mean, it's got a crazy view and the roads are pretty intimidating, but uh, this one actually didn't end up being that bad because the, the end, if I don't come in this road instead of going up and down the road. Yeah, it would have been, because been you went up that way. And that is crazy steep right there. Oh, right there is the sign, yeah. <laughs> but it's all crazy steep. Yes. All these little switchbacks. And uh, so I thought I'd show you guys our adventure headed back down the mountain. We got that fella's keys out of his truck. But um, I guess that's the valley right there. Do you want to see? Can see any of the valley over here? Yeah, there's a lot of trees blocking, uh, but unbelievable drive. All these little roads that shoot off, like up there, That's there's another cabin up there at the top. It winds in unbelievably steep. Uh, be a good time to be here during the summer months, not so much in the winter months. Yeah, here's what the switchbacks look like right here where we are going down. Yeah, that was our route in. They just double back and forth, back and forth, and wind until you get up here to the top, which, like I said, it was uh, Raven's Den, and there's a couple of cabins up here, but <laughs> these roads are... Uh, Let okay. me take that so you can drive, because that's Another switch absolutely terrifying right there. Their porch has got a good view. I wonder if I can run over there to the porch and give YouTube a good view of uh, the valley before I... Okay. Hey, I hope, hope park works. If it don't, bail out. Now we got a car. We got a renter here, guys, so I won't impose. But that's a that's a really good view. Show the road. There's a there's a renter there. I won't be able to. Oh, okay. I think around this corner we could probably. Yeah, this road is insane right here. Yeah, if you've got a big truck or you're hauling a trailer or something like that, you're. Don't come this way. <laughs> It's like all I can see is the dash because it's so far down.
here. I've got low gear and I'm still walking some brakes. Sunday. We're over here on Lower Powder Mill, Powder Mill Estates. We've got we've got a call in for a guy that says he got in late last night. In a quarter mile, turn left. It was raining. Uh, he did a really stupid thing with his Harley. That's what he tells me on the phone. Um, so he's down off the backside of the rental property and needs help getting it back up to the front side of the rental property. So we're going to see if we can get over here and help out. Hey, there's the great barn where the people were uh, ran off the road. Oh, it is, isn't it? Looks like he got his ruts figured out. It was a long pool. It really was. Yes, it was. Well, hopefully it won't do any raining while we're trying to recover this 600-pound Harley. Because he says he don't even know if I can get to it, so that's very concerning. It is. He said it was really narrow and really steep. Of course, isn't that point? That's 90% of the <laughs> county. <laughs> Turn left. Turn left on the switchback. Yes. We're up here in no signal land.
Okay, that's the private. 4359, we're looking for 4360. Is that all that's back here is 4359? No. I didn't see any other driveways, did you? No. Signal. Well, where is it? I don't it's see it. It's behind this cabin. Did you put your boots on? You're wearing tennis shoes. Oh, you're new tennis shoes. How did he get down there? He said he was trying to put it on the back porch. There's no. Oh my god, you two. I don't see it. Did you just there went that out of the back pull up. Yeah, it's it's very bad. Yeah. Dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Got in last night and I tried pulling under that porch back there. Started pouring rain. I walked down. I said, "This ain't bad." I thought it was kind of flat back there. It was dark. Yeah. And I tried pulling it out this morning a little while ago, and we we're just sliding up, sliding down. It's just kind of street pile. About okay. 650 pounds, and we kept sliding back. And said, hey, I can't even get it. Can't get nothing. Rip. Yeah, it's like I gotta come along into the post of that, try to pull it up. It's a head, pretty heavy. Ow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I live in uh, upstate South Carolina and it and got pulled like this. I had it on the rear last night. How, how did you how did you stop? <laughs> hey, I, I've been riding a long time. I pulled it down here and I was in here. I pulled it under here. I figured I could, you know. And then we tried getting it out. I was like Yeah, I uh I I guess you got lucky you just didn't keep going. Yeah, I I pulled here and I was like, then I was once I got once I started down that hill, I said, I, that's it, I can't get out now. Yeah. Um. My goodness. You don't have a long enough wind. Oh, I do, I do. Um. If it was here, I guess I'd feel a little better, but. That's what I said. That's what we were trying to get over there. Try to get over to here and it straight off. Yeah. I can't even, I was going to put cords on the tires. Okay. Uh, I mean, the angle that I'm at from up there, if I run a cable back down, uh, I might be able to snake it right in between these two. I'm thinking we can keep it off the house. I might be able to snake it because I don't think we can. We're going to wrap the tree right here somehow. Yeah. This bike's pretty new. That'd be close. This, yeah, That'd be a close shot right there. If I come forward just a little bit more and yeah. this is my smaller bike, I want to try it on. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm ser I can't believe you stopped. Yeah, I really crazy. can't believe you stopped. <laughs> and it was well, raining too. That. Yeah, that that's uh, wow, that's pretty steep. Okay, let me get some stuff hooked I'm up here. Videoing this for uh, the oh, Vacation Fail One Hundred Ones. <laughs> vacation Fan One Hundred Ones. Yeah. Vacation Fail. Vacation Fail. South Carolina. Yeah. Today, but first day. I've been down 16 years down there. Yeah. Find anything good? You said that the straps are behind my seat. They're in a black bag. I know exactly what you're talking about. There. And I saw it recently. But it's, I think it's more on my side. Uh, I'm going to have to come. They're, they're probably at the very bottom of this stuff right here. I know I see in the bag. I saw it recently. I think it's that right there. Oh, okay. Yep. And that, along with uh, maybe a short strap I'll take down. But um, I'm going to back up. Hope that I don't get hung. If I if I look like I start to sink over here, let me know. Sure. Better go for low.
the light ones, one of the light duties. And if it's got a, uh, a clevis on it, then. clip. I didn't find two. I know. Those, uh -uh. those clips are awful. I need to just super glue them on. Hot glue them on. Yeah, I thought I had another one, but I don't. Right, I've got this stuff. I'll walk down with you. I wonder if we grab it right in here. That's probably the best bet. You think so? Yeah, that's right. Because if the triple trees, it might. That'll pull my front end. Well, either way, it's going to pull the front end. It's so in here. I mean, it should be an easier pull. Yeah. I don't. We don't. I don't want to grab it down here and try to. I don't think we'll have a whole lot of pressure. Yeah, it's just trying to keep trying to keep it upright and go up. I got a ultra classic, an old one, but I didn't. That one even tried that with that. This one's lighter. <laughs> yeah. there ain't no dirt bike either. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty heavy bike. Six hundred fifty pounds. This one. Yeah, I'll check that back up with me because I'm assuming you want me to do the winch and you're going to die. Yeah, we'll have to uh, see how many wraps is on that uh, okay. is on that thing too. Okay. You want to go ahead and get that hook and I will make it. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a decent pull, decent straight pull. Yeah. Off of both of those. Yeah, I figured I'd try to. I'm trying to get it over there and that thing. I'll just keep going further back. Yeah. people out of ditches well, we're always up here pulling people out <laughs> uh believe it or not we've had a few people that have gotten some side parking over here and thought that they could park and then just end up sliding the rest of the way down of course cars are a little heavier than bikes so yeah uh no uh-uh we haven't started the last okay i don't have much farther to go so just let me know i'm hoping i don't have to add to it Yeah. We're down to the, the last row. Okay. You have a half a spool. Bring this wide. Half of it is roll. Okay. Well, I'm good. I'm hooked to the bike, so I'm wondering. I hope I don't have to snatch this tree right here. We'll see what the line looks like. I thought I might rub this, but you need the PTO on.
Okay, hold up. I guess it's in gear. It's in neutral. In neutral right now. Okay. Well, if you want to get a side, I'll get a side, and we'll uh, uh, see what we can do here as far as straight. Yeah, I think it's in, it's in neutral. Hey, one second. Yeah, we're in neutral. Neutral. Yep. Good. That way. Okay, tighten us up. I think we'll come off of it pretty quick. Let's yeah. Up there. Yeah. All right. Got the break here, so okay. I'll let off of that. There we go. Hey, good. Or you want more? Uh, yeah, we're good. If you want to keep pulling, I'll tell you when to whoa. Keep saying. There we go. Need a wash after that. Oh, I tell you what, yeah, it'll definitely need a wash, won't it? Yep. A new back tire needs a front tire. Though. It's hard to find tires in the Oh, yeah. Yeah, once we get around this, we'll be in good shape. Do you need me to come up there? Probably. It's all wrapped around one side. I'll put it in gear. Okay. Take that down. All right. Yeah. Got it? Yep. Okay. Unless you can tell me how to make it go over. It's good. Okay. You good to go? Yeah. Might be easier for you to just be on it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're good if you're good. We're fighting each other. Right? <laughs> yeah. I can kind of steer it. Yeah, you, you kind of get the guide of it there. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's a problem. We were trying to trying to go back. Yeah, each other yeah. Them, pushing me over. Yeah. Pretty good shape there. A close thing, won't it? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Came down a little easier. Yeah. Been in the dark. It's <laughs> a pretty good deal. <laughs> like, <laughs> drinking a few years. Are you drinking? No. Uh, yeah, you might have to. You might have to have a few drinks tonight. <laughs> Usually in church this time. <laughs> right. I think we're home free now.
from this area? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we don't live far from here, so when the call come in, at least we could get here a little quick. Yeah, okay. I had a real good friend who lived over in Bryson City for years. Oh, that's beautiful over there. He's up on top of the mountain by the campground. That's a lot of that's a lot of good riding over there too. We rode for years. We used to come around this area to ride, and uh, COVID put an end to that. Yeah. <laughs> Think it'll go from there? Yeah. Getting close. I worry that he would It'll put it in gear and it'd start sliding that way. Slide that back way. in, slide that way. It'll start lifting soon. Yeah. <laughs> How about there? Yeah, he'll start going up in the air after that. How about that? Yep. Okay. You got it? He's getting to release this. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, you'll be YouTube famous. YouTube family, yeah. say hello to YouTube, everybody. Bye. <laughs> yeah, if you want to take a picture of that, that's yeah. how you'll uh, find the channel. I don't want to. <laughs> there you go. A month. It usually ta it usually takes a couple of weeks for the upload and the edits and. That's the first of pulling a motorcycle out of one. Right? Oh no. Oh, no. We got one up towards the tail of Dragon. It was about 150 feet. He went he went around the corner and, and drug, and the bike just went off the edge of the mountain and just, he was 150 foot off. He, uh, I rode him. He, uh, he they was, took him to the hospital. They took him to the hospital. He had a pretty good bump on his noggin. I think it knocked him out, but he came to with just some scratches. He was all right. Yeah. Yeah, that was another a, one up in the park just a couple weeks ago, too. Yeah, he, he got bailed. He bailed, and it was down in the creek bed. It. Yeah, he said he lost control of it, and the guy just—he just left his. Left it. The national park uh, was hunting for him. Left it, 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 yeah, he was, by the river. He, yeah, he was, by the he was gone. Yeah, there was no. Uh, they were hunting. They were hunting down in the river and down in the woods. They didn't know where he was at, but he just left his bike and he came and got it the next day, though. <laughs> Listen, stuff happens. Hey, I, we don't I, judge. I pulled up on vacation many times and put my bike in the in the hotel room in between the bed right next to me. Yeah. And then you get up the next morning. Yeah, the yes. cleaning lady looks at you like, how in the world yeah, did he get, get that in looks. there? 
Yeah. You do what you got to do when you have a bike. I understand, but you know, it's like. Yeah, I'd have been squeezing it in the front door there. Don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> I just That's what I tell them to do. Yeah. Don't be too upset with yourself because it happens all the time. We. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just not many Harleys, mostly cars that, mm -hmm. like I said, once you hit that right there, I mean, that's glass all the way down. Yeah, I don't know how you made it down. I safely. didn't ride down. I <laughs> it in the rain. Oh, my goodness. So I, then I was like, ah, if you to turn around, I'll ride it up in the morning just mm -hmm. be careful. And I, yeah. And I've seen it this morning. I'm like, uh oh, we got a problem. Yeah, like that's not going to. Well, I'm glad everybody's safe. Oh, and yeah, I'm, glad, you this I'm glad you didn't end up down there someplace. Well, thank you guys. Hope you guys have a better time, okay? <laughs> well, be careful. We got some storms coming in. Riding in the rain is no fun. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Uh huh. Uh, let's see if I can get turned around without going off the mountain or getting hung up. I was worried you were going to get hung up back there. I know. I, was, I knew that was going to be really soft back there. There was no way I was letting you get your front tire off that gravel. And like, I'm going to have to back up all the way up. I was just telling him, I was like, normally the folks that that try to park on the sides there, and then before you know it, you're you're sliding, and there's no backing mm -hmm. out of it. No. Come on. There's room there. I will just go to the main road. Okay. All in the name of trying to keep his Harley dry overnight. That was crazy. Like, I don't know how he... He didn't end up like just skating all the way down into the woods. I don't yeah. know how it stopped. He said he rolled it down. He didn't ride it down. He rolled it down last oh, night. But I'm still, yeah. That's a heavy bike and it's slick. Maybe next time just a tarp. Yeah, you know, I guess uh, I had an uncle growing up always riding to A bait meetings and trips and they would they would roll up a They'd roll up a tarp and roll up their tent and bungee cord it to the back of the bike and it all stayed right there with them and you know they were always uh, they were always doing something like that but it's crazy up here guys it's um it's super steep and uh, you just got to be careful where you park and don't park there but guys we're headed back down the mountain here it's a little steep a little windy a little twisty but thank goodness nobody was hurt back there. Yeah. Uh, we had enough cable, <laughs> barely, I think, just cable-wise. I mean, I got plenty of extra that we can add on, but we were down to about the last wrap mm -hmm. coming, and I worried about the house. Luckily, it wasn't a hard pull, so we just needed a little tension, a little pressure to get it up there and uh, come around the house. I didn't want a snatch block off to the side because that, uh, that would have just pulled him and then we would have been fighting trying to keep the motorcycle upright. So that was the best situation was to go in between those two poles. And luckily he, uh, between him and him and I, we were able to get it. Once he got on it, it was a little easier. We were fighting each other. I was pulling, he was pushing and trying to, it's always a weird thing when you're trying to help somebody with a motorcycle. One person's trying to keep it upright and the other person thinks that they got to keep it upright. You just end up fighting each other. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate everybody tagging along. We've had a lot of folks that uh, have gotten a hold of me here recently, either uh, text message or private message or email, and we've gotten a chance to meet up with a few of our of our family, of our YouTube family, uh, but it's been so busy, so if I haven't got a chance to meet up with you, and, uh, and I did for some reason miss the opportunity, I am so sorry. It's been, it's been very busy. Um, once school goes back, we'll will slow down quite a bit more uh, but uh, everybody's trying to get in those those vacations and we we have just been running non-stop it's been crazy so like I said I do want to I do want to reach out to all those folks and uh, apologize for not being able to to uh, meet up shake hands have dinner and those sort of things uh, but if you're ever in town you come back in town for you know the fall months um, or once school goes back we'll have a little bit more more time and we always love hearing from you guys if you guys are out and about um, you know shoot us those messages we love we love uh, getting those messages and uh, emails and those sort of things but we're out we're headed back to town I don't have any signal I'm not sure how many calls that I've missed it looks like it's going to cut loose another ginormous storm it has been uh, it's been storming like crazy we've had uh, code red even 
as of last night, uh, we got in about about two or three o'clock this morning. We got another code red for flash floods, and hopefully everybody's staying safe. If you've got any of those campsites that are near uh, the river, you got to watch, guys. You can't just uh, put up your tent and go to bed. This flash floods, it'll it'll happen within within a few hours of it raining. These had a lot of a lot of rescues going on. So far, I think everybody's been safe. Everybody's been rescued. They might have lost uh, some cars or tents or sleeping bags, some belongings. But I think everybody's been safe so far. We've had a, about three different storms that have caused flash floods. So that's always something to look out for if you're visiting the area. The Smoky Mountains water runs down fast. Over guys, so head back up to Boogertown, Boogertown Road. Appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you on the next one.